And since the height of the pandemic, the real estate market across the country, across Texas and across San Antonio has been booming. But now with interest rates rising, we are charting a new course locally. Max Massey spoke with a local realtor and CEO of Keller Williams Heritage about what we have seen and what comes next in the market. We, we did 15 closings already um, in these past two quarters. So um, it's a blessing and all of them have been from um, out of state as well. So San Antonio is seeing a lot of growth right now. Tyler Figueroa That's started awesome. his career as a real estate agent during the pandemic. And really for the first time, he's starting to see listing prices get reduced. What we are seeing though, is that buyers now have much more power in the negotiation because instead of seeing 27 offers on every listing, you're seeing three. And instead of seeing 50 to 60,000 over asking, you may see 5,000 over asking. Jack Hawthorne, okay the CEO of Keller Williams Heritage said. tells me that some of the biggest cities across the country, they're starting to get overvalued. But San Antonio, the Alamo city, our market seems safe. And so while I wouldn't really be comfortable buying real estate in New York or in California right now, because I don't think the values are gonna hold where they are, uh, I'm very confident buying in, San, in the greater San Antonio area in general. You see another sort of bubble forming and do you see that popping? So with the caveat that I'm talking specifically about the greater San Antonio area, no. Nationally, probably, because there are areas, Austin is appreciated 30% a year, right? That, that is a bubble. That is not sustainable. As for Tylan, his advice is to find a properly valued home you could see yourself and your family living in. Although interest rates are, are high, um, I would definitely say marry the home, but just date the rate. So whenever rates do come back down, you can just um, you know refinance and you have the house of your dreams with great incentives as well. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.